to your new body using almost no equipment. Exercising using glide discs can offer a full body workout wherever you are. We have fitness expert Tom Daubert from Compel Fitness with us to show us how the disc can be used effectively for upper and lower, but we're going to start with lower body. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so what is the disc? Give, give us a little background. Sure. So I was first introduced to glide discs in college. Okay. Professor, we came in, she said, today we're going to get a total body workout using these glide discs. And I thought, you've got to be kidding me. This doesn't look very difficult. Mm -hmm. And I honestly woke up the next day sore everywhere. <laughs> so it's a great it workout. Worked. Exactly. The great thing about this is it's very low impact. So if you do have any injuries, especially knees or lower body, okay. it can be a great way to still work those muscles and not aggravate any of the joints. And it, it, it is just a disc that can slide across the floor. Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing really fancy to this. There are official glide discs you can buy online. Mm -hmm. However, if you have, these are actually furniture movers from okay. home that you can put underneath your, your couch to slide it around, or even paper plates wow. work as a great option. Almost everyone has those in their pantry. All right, so g give me an example of an exercise because it, it'll be interesting to see how this can give you that all over tone that you're sure talking thing. about. So the first thing we're gonna do is reverse lunge. For this one, you only need one glide disc. Okay. So you stand nice and tall, you've got one foot on the ground. What you're doing is sliding that foot back for the reverse lunge and then coming all the way back up. So what you would do is something like 10, 12, 15 reps on one side, trying to keep your chest up, back straight, now, why that is leg. that better or different than just doing a backward lunge where you just step back? So it's a little different, right? You're getting that, that friction with the carpet, adding a little bit of extra resistance with okay. it, too. Again, it's very, very low impact, so it's better for people if they have any kind of joint issues. Okay. And then you could easily switch sides and do the same thing All right. on the other leg as well. All right, so give us another example. Yeah, so another one that we can do. Trouble areas, people want to work their inner and outer thigh, tighten yeah. those up. So this is a great way to do that by standing here and doing like a lateral squat. You're stepping out to the side, sliding that foot out as far as you can, and then pulling it all the way back in. So not only are you working the glutes, we're also working our quads, but we're hitting the inner and outer thigh just from the friction here on the carpet. So again, trying to keep your chest up, back straight, sliding it out, and right. pulling it back in. Then you could do the other side as well. Okay, and, and then one more, you have another one? Yeah, absolutely. So the last one you can do is really work the hamstrings. This one you have to almost get on the ground. Okay. You're in a bridge form. And what you're doing is just sliding one leg out and bringing it all the way back in. And you really feel this behind your leg and those hamstring muscles to make it harder easily raise a leg up in oh, the wow. air, slide yeah. it out, and now you've got all of your body weight on that one leg, making it pretty challenging. So can you do this whether you're a beginner? I, I mean, you can, you can be just starting out and, and, use, and use these? Absolutely, anyone okay. can. It's great because I think the common misconception is you need a gym membership, you mm -hmm. need all this fancy equipment. In reality, if you have paper <laughs> plates at home and a carpet <laughs> or a rug, you can get in great shape. All right, so we're going to see you again in the next hour. You're going to show us how to do an upper body workout Absolutely. with us. Very interesting. All right, so we're going to see that coming up in just a little bit. All right, we're back with fitness expert Tom Dilbert from Compel Fitness with Gold's Gym. Now, last hour, you were showing us how to do lower body workouts. This time, we're going to do upper body. And you're standing here. Does it feel weird? You're standing here with paper plates? A little bit, absolutely. Yeah, you brought your own rug, though. Have rug, will travel. You showed up. You got paper plates. And, and I will say, the circles on the rug match the plates, so you coordinated better there. That's I really than most guys would. So I that, really tried. I'm impressed there, and it goes with the circle on the shirt. So we've got circles, and we're talking about simple exercises that the entire family can do, lower body to work out and they could be doing it during commercial breaks when you're watching uh, Fox 45 News. Absolutely. All right, so let's see some uh, difficult ones that we're doing. We're talking upper body. Absolutely, upper body. So we've got a lot of great machines inside of Gold's Gym. There's a chest press machine. There's also a chest fly machine. Most right. people are familiar with those. But you can actually combine both using the paper plates. So let me demonstrate a little bit. Okay. So if you've got two, you've got some kind of carpeted surface at home, some right. kind of rug like this, grab both. You're getting into a normal push-up position. So the difference here is as you come down, you're going to separate your arms. And then when you come back up, you're pressing through your hands, bringing the arms together. So almost like a push-up and a chest fly combined. You just made that look pretty easy, though, doing that. How, I mean, we're talking about somebody that's just learning how to do, like, say, 10 push-ups right. before they try this? Well, absolutely, but you can even modify this very easily by coming okay. down to your knees, 
You can right. cross your legs behind you. The important part is you got that straight line from your head down to your knees. Okay. You're lowering your chest down, and then you're coming all the way back there up. There you go. So you can quickly modify. Absolutely. Uh, how many uh, are we, reps are we recommending on Definitely that one? Definitely recommend 10 to 12 reps. You, know, you okay. can really feel that burn in the chest a little bit by the time you're done. Uh, well, I, don't, I didn't even want to make you get up. I wanted to find out what else you had. That's a, sure. that's a great upper body, and I, I think that's one of those ones where you're using muscles that you normally don't use. Absolutely right. So you're going both machines there. What other yeah. kind of machines can we... Uh, take home basically and do with plates and carpet. Well, it's summertime, everybody wants to work on the core a little bit. The yes. six pack is a highly coveted uh, thing in fitness. You can get down your knees again. If you've ever seen that ab wheel on TV, we're gonna simulate the same thing. Okay. So you're using the plates again, you can cross your legs. This time you're laying your whole body down, really keeping your core nice and tight. And All right, now that's impressive right there, Tom, because I had an ab roller, <laughs> and I never went down that low. That was very <laughs> impressive. That's very good. All right, you do this every day, so I'll give it to you there, but that was pretty good. Going And the further you go down, the obviously, right. the much more difficult it is. Absolutely. You can even do this on your toes. I'm not going to demonstrate that one. but no. <laughs> now, now, tell me something about that. When you're doing that, does it matter if you go out further? Are you doing different ab sections, or is it just your abs all over? Pretty much your abs all over. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't pick which ones we're working, upper or lower. It's really one complete muscle, so as we're sliding out, you could gotcha. modify it by going halfway down and then just stopping there and coming back. Okay. And then obliques, would you recommend doing obliques and curving out at all? Like yeah, you they absolutely. said to do with the wheel too? Anytime okay. you're twisting your core laterally, you're really working those oblique muscles. So you're going to work not only your abdominals, but also the obliques. You're going to get that full, strong core. That's a challenge. You just made that look very easy. I'm <laughs> impressed. And before you were doing mountain climbers, so yeah. that was also another way to do it. So Tom, thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, it. Two plates and a carpet right there. Talk about no excuses and I'm one of them too. Exactly during the commercial breaks, whenever you're watching something maybe like Fox 45 Morning News trying to get some of those out. All right, I'm going to try it. Thank you very much, Tom.